In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an animated selfie uh, template in PowerPoint. Uh, just uh, I'm going to make it more creative here. So that's the reason you can see here I have designed a complete uh, a mobile device in PowerPoint along with the selfie stick. And you can see here I have put the camera icon and then the reverse camera and the photo selection and all those things plus the camera hole here. How this works is when I bring my cursor onto this particular camera, you can see here the icon is changing. When I click immediately, the selfie will come, okay? And you can see here the, the flash also is coming, okay? So likewise, I have created one more slide where I have put some different image, you can see here. And one more, I have made it very bigger also. And then when I click, it comes something like this. So depending on your requirement, you can change the size, you can change the images, uh, you prefer what you put it on, on this particular slide. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 version to do this. However, with the older version also, it's possible. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any light color background. Then I'm going to design a mobile device. For that, go to insert shapes. From the rectangles, I'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangle. Draw the rounded corner rectangle, maybe this much size. And you can see the small orange point just drag this outside to make it a less curve and try to put it exactly in the center shape outline make it no outline shape fill maybe you can choose a black then i'm going to add one at the screen here for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here something like this and make sure to put it in the center align center so if i say align center it comes like this i don't want that one instead i want align middle all right so once this is done i'm going to add the center button here i'm going to use the rounded corner rectangle again make it fully curved reduce the size rotate it right 90 degrees shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white and put it exactly in the center all right and then you can add one camera icon here or the the camera hole so make it oval shape draw the oval shape small oval shape by holding the shift key shape outline make it maybe you can use some light color and shape fill maybe some gray color all right and then again make sure that this is also aligned in the center all right or if you're not sure whether it's in center or not again select this one and this one again you can just say align middle all right so this is the camera hole and then i'm going to add one more shape here at the rectangle okay this is where my camera screen will be shape outline no outline shape fill you can give some gray color here go to insert shapes select the oval shape again in the center exactly i'm going to put one oval shape again in the middle make sure it's in middle shape outline no outline and shape fill maybe you can give some dark gray color and here i'm going to add the icon so go to insert icons And I'm just going to the bottom and then let me just search the icons what I need. You can see here one icon I need is this one. Then one more icon or you can take this icon also but that looks like of a CD. So I don't want that one. So that's the one icon I need. And then the second icon which I need is the, let me just search, it should be here only yeah one is this one to change the camera all right and one more where we are going to add the picture here so these three icons i have selected and move this aside and make the height and width as 0.5 only and this camera this icon i'm just going to place it here the camera icon it's in the center and this one it's here 
all right so uh, you can see here the design is almost ready and this one i can give some uh, gradient fill for that right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to select fill gradient fill i'm going to delete the two stops the first stop i'm going to give maybe a different color combination you can see here one kind of orange or pink with some blue color combination all right and then change the direction whichever direction which you like most all right so you can see here uh, the design of the mobile is ready and even this also shape outline should not be any outline all right right now let's uh, draw a selfie stick to draw a selfie stick go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose this rectangle top corners rounded draw it again in the center if you want you can make it less curved here and make sure that this is aligned in the center shape outline no outline shape fill you can give any color a light color or dark color here whichever color which you feel uh, comfortable with maybe i'm going to give this color and bring it down exactly by holding the shift key control shift key actually and here the other way around this one i want a uh, rounded and this one no round here all right so it looks something like this and then i'm just going to add one more press ctrl d reduce the size increase the height and again put it here maybe you can give some light color here and make sure that it is in the center and then the selfie the stick so i'm just selecting the rectangle and again put it exactly in the center shape outline no outline and i'm going to select the gradient fill one i'm going to make it black the other one i'm going to make it somewhat lighter and here i'm going to make it somewhat black so it looks something like this all right if you want you can give the gradient fill here as well so you can see here our uh, mobile device with the uh, selfie stick is ready now it's time to add the image okay for that i'm just going to select this one press ctrl d to duplicate then go to pictures or texture fill you can see here click here and then picture source click on insert if you're having your own images which you want to insert it here then you can uh, select it from a file or if you want some online pictures you can click the online pictures provided that you have the active internet connection for this and then you can just choose any uh, image here i'm just typing selfie and any selfie which i feel better you can see here whichever selfie which you feel uh, maybe let me just select this one click insert and then you need to just adjust it okay you can make you can see here you can just adjust it properly all right so once this is done exactly i'm going to and before that one let me just select these options press ctrl g to group it okay and bring to front and even the i camera icon here you know this one this also i need to select and bring to front okay and then exactly i'm going to put it the back side and make sure that the screen is not visible so it looks something like this now all right now once this is done it's time to show the the selfie so let me just close this one or before that one you can add one a kind of a flash effect you know the light effect so go to insert shapes uh, select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white then go to the effects soft adjust increase the size here so you can see here it looks something like of light is flashing here all right all right so let me just close the format background go to the animations enable the animation pane and what happens here is when i click on this camera icon the selfie should come and along with the light okay so first of all i'm selecting this one you can see here or let me just ungroup this so that it will be easy for me to select the and then after selecting i'm going to give the name of this one okay so go to home select selection pane and i'm going to say this is a camera icon camera icon you know why i'm doing that one because when you're creating the animation it will help me to select the the right object otherwise you can see here it says that uh, graphics 25 27 so it will be difficult so let me just close this now 
now i'm going to select this image animations all right i'm going to click on appear okay appear it should appear when i click on the camera icon for that i need to insert the trigger so double click this go to the timings you can see here triggers start effect on click off i have to select the camera icon here if the camera icon if i have not renamed it it will be difficult for me to identify what's the name of the object that's the reason i have changed this one select this one click ok so now what happens here is now when i uh, do a slideshow the image is not visible so when i can I, when i bring my cursor over the camera icon you can see here it's changing the eye the cursor and when i click it's appearing all right now the similar thing this one also should happen this also i'm going to make it uh, appear okay and appear double click this one again this also should be at the time of when i click the camera icon so i can simply just drag and drop it here and this one make it with previous all right and double click this one and one thing which you need to change here after animation I have to say hide after animation okay because the flash should come and go all right so let me just do it now now when I click you can see the flash comes and it goes back so let me just do it once again for you so if you see here when I click can you see here all right so the flash is coming like that so you can replace your uh, own images here or multiple images whenever i click a new image should come like that you can do any sorts of uh, creativity uh, onto this particular slide